and welcome, I'm your code Makin, and I'm about to publish yet another awesome free course. This time it's all about making a multiplayer game with Netcode for Entities. We're going to learn how to install the package, set up the connection, learn about ghosts and ghost fields, learn about RPCs, about the concept of in-game, and a bunch more stuff. This one has a bunch of awesome features by default. It has things like lag compensation, client-side prediction, not to mention support for more complex games. If you want to build very fast-paced, very complex games, or just things with lots of complex data. If you want to build games like Call of Duty, Apex Legends, Rocket League, League of Legends, Mortal Kombat, and many others. If so, then Netcode for Entities is what you want to use. Just like I said in my last free course, my goal is to make the exact same game, a simple tic-tac-toe game, but this time using dots and Netcode for Entities. This makes it a really interesting scenario where you can actually watch both courses to see the differences between the two tech stacks. The core concepts, those are all the same. Both games have grid positions, both games have player objects, there's a score, game over, and so on. But naturally, they need to be implemented in different ways. The other one is all about game objects, whereas this one is all about dots entities. Then of course, netcode for a game object is also different from netcode for entities. So learning different syntax and being able to see it side by side, I think that's really great. And I also hope that these two courses will help make dots feel much less intimidating for people. If you fully understand everything in the game objects course, you will then be able to see the parallels and more easily understand how dots works in this one. Although this course, this one is focused primarily on teaching netcode for entities, meaning inside this course over here, I assume you know the basics of dots, things like what is an entity, a component in the system. So I highly, highly recommend you go through either my dots video or my free dots course before this one. That way you know all the basics. That way we can focus on just learning about the multiplayer netcode implementation. And if you want a quick overview of how Netcode for Entities works, if so, you can go watch my free one hour tutorial before watching this course. I really did enjoy making this game. Once you understand how Netcode for Entities works, once you understand dots about how to make an entity, a component, and a bunch of those things, once you know those, then Netcode for Entities really is not too complex. Just make some components to fire some RPCs, set up some fields as ghost fields, and synchronizing data is really super easy. So yep, I think this course is great, and remaking the exact same game in two different tool sets has been a really interesting challenge. The free YouTube video will be coming out on Monday. I still have to finish recording and editing the final lecture and the intro lecture, but the main core lectures, those are already done. Now, I was actually planning on having this course already launched by now, but early this week, my PC suddenly broke. It would not boot into Windows. It would just get a blue screen of death or freeze or crash. It was definitely quite annoying to wake up and suddenly the whole thing doesn't work. I spent hours trying out everything. I tried using the Windows installer to go into safe mode and didn't work. I tried reinstalling Windows, didn't work. I tried swapping out every piece one by one and also didn't work. After a ton of trial and error, it seems that the issue was either the motherboard or the CPU, one of those got fried for some reason, so I had to very quickly buy some new hardware so I can get back to work. Anyway, so yeah, my plan was delayed by a little bit. My apologies if you posted a comment asking some kind of question I haven't responded. This has been definitely a very tricky week, but I'm quite happy with how this course came out. So here's a quick overview of everything we're going to learn in this course. Okay, so here's everything we're going to learn throughout this course. Every step we're going to take from the very beginning until the very end. We're going to start off completely from scratch. Start off by creating a brand new empty project using Unity 6 and URP. Then we're going to install all the packages like Netcode for Entities and a few more. And finally import the visual assets we're going to use in this course. Then to test our simple connection, we're going to do the most basic thing possible. Send and receive an RPC. These are very simple messages. We're going to define the RPC, make a client system to send it, and a server system to receive it. Once we learn about RPCs, then we can learn about the concept of in-game in Netcode for Entities. This is how we can mark a connection as being ready to receive constant data, like object spawning or a transform position. Then we're going to build our grid, just a simple 3x3 grid. We're going to make the visuals and also the clickable grid positions. This is actually a very interesting lecture because we're working in dots, so we need to learn about dots physics, which also has some really interesting quirks when combined with Netcode for Entities. Next, we create a game server system and learn how to spawn some ghosts. These are objects that are automatically synchronized across the network. We spawn them on the server and all the clients immediately see them. Then we define the concept of a player type. We have crosses and circles. Using that, we can make it so that each player plays a different type. We're going to assign the type based on the connection ID. Then for something very important, we're going to create a dots event system Dots is all about data-oriented design, so we cannot use normal C-sharp events since those are objects, so we need to be clever to implement a dots-capable event system. Thanks to that event system, then we are going to set up a canvas and build a UI using normal game objects. Again, even when you make dots games, the UI is usually better made with game objects, so we're going to make that and then use events and dots queries in order to update it. After that, we handle the logic for starting the game. The server checks if we have two connect clients, and if so, it starts the game. In doing so, we also update the UI to show the current player type. Then we learn about ghost fields. This one is also very important. This is how we can synchronize custom data at all times. Similar to how the transform data is automatically synchronized, 
With this, we can synchronize any custom data we want. Next, we set up an array to keep track of all our grid positions and what players are where. This way, we can prevent players from taking actions on already occupied positions. Then we create the test winner function. The logic in this game is pretty simple. We just check if we have three matching symbols in a row. If so, we have a winner. Then we create a game over UI to display the player that someone has won or lost. We use RPCs to tell the client that the game has ended. Then we implement a rematch function. The players can ask the server to start a new match. The server then resets the board and destroys all the visuals in order to start a brand new game. After that, we also handle the tie scenario. The game can end in a tie if all positions are occupied and there's no winner. Then we implement a persistent score to keep track of how many wins each player has. This is pretty easy, we just need to use some ghost fields. Next, we add some sound effects and music. Also pretty basic, we just spawn some objects that automatically play a sound. And then we implement lobby and relay. These are two very important Unity tools for making our game easily playable. Lobby lets us group players together and Relay helps them connect to each other without issues with firewalls or net. Then we do a bunch of tiny things to polish up the game, adding some nice visuals, nice effects. And after all that, we will have our final polished game. The whole thing working really nicely and all of it working in multiplayer using netcode for entities. So that's everything and the free YouTube video will be coming out on Monday. And just like they did with the other course, the video will be completely free alongside the project files. All of that is free, there's no knowledge behind the paywall. But if you can afford it, if you have a few bucks to spare, then there's a premium version with a bunch of nice bonuses. So this one comes with a nice companion project. This contains frequently asked questions, quizzes, and a summary for each lecture in the course. These help really reinforce what you're learning. If you make the effort to pay attention in the course, you should be able to answer all of these correctly. And if you do, then that makes sure that you are actually truly learning. If you take the time to go through all of this, you will definitely gain all that knowledge. Next bonus is the Codemon Companion. This is a Unity window that keeps track of the project, so if you encounter any errors, it will help guide you in the right direction. Another nice window is Chat with AI. Like the implies, this lets you chat with an AI that was trained on the cons of the course, so it's a great way to get some help really instantly, that way you don't get stuck. Or alternatively, when you post in the course comment section, you will get a near instant reply from this AI. This is also really great for some quick help, but I myself will still manually answer within the next 24 hours. Then of course, the premium version has no YouTube ad, so nothing to interrupt your learning process. And it also grants you access to my private Discord and private live streams. I do those every week and I'm there to answer whatever questions you have. So yep, if you can't afford the premium version, you can go ahead and pick it up right now with the link in the description. I'm still finishing some editing, so the final polish lecture and the intro of those should be out by tomorrow. But all the core lectures on making the game from start to finish, all of those are already done. So yep, go ahead and pick that up. Otherwise, stay tuned for the free YouTube video coming out on Monday. Alright, so thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.